welcome into One Pan Man. I'm Nan Kelly. You know, recording artists have to have a song to sing. And here in Nashville, Tennessee, we think the songwriter is king. And on today's episode, the songwriter is queen. <laughs> queen Victoria Veneer, to be exact, my dear friend. Hey, gal. How do you come up with these intros? <laughs> Well, I'm not My done. My goodness. She is multi-talented. She's a songwriter, a great vocalist, a vocal coach, a producer, and she is a heck of an Italian cook. You cooking up a feast for me today? I am. What are we making? You ready? Mm -hmm. Repeat after me. Pasta. Pasta. Con. Con. Verdura. Verdura. Frecce. Frecce. Now say, say all of it. Con verdura frecce. <laughs> This is a, a little area outside of Nashville called White House. The great thing is my mother-in-law lives right across the street. So that's where we're going. We're going over there. The kitchen's that way. She has an amazing garden though and we can we can just we can pick whatever we want and it's yeah. gonna all be organic and fresh and taste amazing. So do you just like when you're fixing dinner at night, do you just like run over there and help yourself? I do. She has given me free reign of the garden. <laughs> okay, well okay, are you so hungry? If I'm breathing, I'm hungry. <laughs> so what do we what do we do first? So you want to start with your olive oil. I'm cooking in somewhat of a Dutch oven here. Yeah, that's good. It's like a cast iron enamel mm -hmm. on the inside. So garlic. This is a combination of roasted and regular organic garlic. Oh boy, see we're and getting fancy. So this is step number one. That's step number one. Is this something you made up? Um, I came from an Italian lineage. My grandparents immigrated from the north side of Italy, and I grew up with the most amazing food. Aww. My grandfather had a garden in the back of his house that stretched from here to Nashville. And he grew corn and beans and peas and onions and garlic and all the herbs, all your usual suspects of the herb family, and tomatoes. He also grew grapes from which he made his own wine. So this is a pasta dish uh, that's going to kind of be in honor of all that. Oh, Papa and Nona. Papa and Nona. All right. So After your garlic's going, of course, you're going to um, use some good onion. Did you do you cooking, know? Did you do a lot of the cooking growing up in your house or your two brothers or was we mama did, the master of it? My mom did all the cooking in the house, but I helped her a lot. That's looking good. It's smelling so good. Mm -hmm. I she wanted to know my, I'm sorry, you, you wanted to know my favorite yeah, it's meal. Yeah, something that your mama made. Barbecued spare ribs. Mm. Fresh butter noodles and peas. Fresh butter noodles. So she would make pasta? Yes. So take the, take a little bit of the south and a little bit of the Italian and smash it all together? She made a mean butter noodle and it was just to die for. And with those barbecued spare ribs, you know, that was, wow. Mm. Let's go crash Miss Barbara's front porch. <laughs> I know, all these flowers, she is just so amazing. Okay, well, Mama, I'm gonna grab one of these tomatoes for sure. She's making a, making a pasta dish for me, Miss Barbara. Oh my goodness, look at that one That's right there. Nice. What all is in your garden? I have, um, out of your way. These are butter beans. Butter beans? I have tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, peppers. And zucchini, the zucchini. Oh, we gotta grab some zucchini for okay. sure. That's a great is one. I think oh. we're gonna have to cut that one up and put it in the, in the dish. That is pretty. All right. Thank well, thank okay, you. thanks, Mama. We appreciate okay, it. Bye bye. bye. Barbara. I'm gonna stop and go ahead and add our beautiful peppers that came from the garden. Lovely Miss Mama. Yeah, yeah. I got you coming over here. All you right. grab that and throw right. it in the pot because we're gonna need it. Zucchini is going Zucchini. in, ladies and gentlemen. Zucchini and that, is going we, in. We picked some beautiful ones from Mama's came garden. Came from Mama's garden. That's great. So for you, a high note in your career so far, landing a, a song on a Grammy-nominated CD by wow. Take Six. Tell the story of how you learned that, okay, they liked my song, it made the cut, and oh my gosh, it's nominated for a Grammy. So I met Claude McKnight. He is the lead singer. And he, we struck up a conversation and I said, hey, I'm a writer in town and I know that, you know, I write mostly country music, but would you ever be into collaborating? And he goes, sure, you know, give me a call. Here's my email. And I thought, you know, there's a lot of pleasantries like that exchanged in Nashville that never come to fruition, even if you do make the effort, you know what I mean? 
So I immediately waited two days. I waited for the 48 hours so it didn't seem like a stalker. I shot him an email and within a day he emailed me back and we got together and we came up with a really cool idea and a good song and he loved it. And the next thing I knew, he calls me up and he says, yeah, I think we're gonna throw this on the record. And I said, I thought you're- Throw you're... this on the record. I said, I thought your record was gonna be all standards. He says, it was until this. And I'm gonna add some mushrooms now. Okay, mushroom time. These are just organic white mushrooms. You can also use portabella. Sorry mm. about that. Is you the songwriting s- title the one that you treasure the most? Because you wear a lot of hats. Yes. What is it about yes. that feeds your soul? I think the, the ability to communicate an idea through a universal language. Because music's such a healer, mm-hmm. you know, it has, it transcends some things. You know, it, it doesn't matter if you're in a great mood, you want to put on a certain style of music. If you're in a sad mood, you want to put on a certain style of music. Mm-hmm. So it speaks to every emotion. And I just think that's so beautiful. So moving on, we are going to... What is uh, this? This is from my brother's garden who also got the green thumb from my grandfather. Mm-hmm. His name is Bob. He calls this his liquid gold. And what this, is it? It's uh, canned tomato sauce. You brought so that down from Illinois. He and brought you it were gonna to sh- me. You mm-hmm. are sharing that with us. I am. We you have special. to have. We are special. You have to have the best. And so in this goes. Yum. All right. Oh, that's delicious looking. Have I told you how much I loved um, going to see Hits and Grins recently? Oh, that's right. You guys came to that show. You, We haven't really talked much about it. I, I, this would be a good time. I think it, so Hits and Grins <laughs> is this great trio with three fabulous songwriters, Victoria being one, the hysterical Bill White, and the fabulous Steve Dean. It has been such a blessing to be around two guys who are absolutely immersed in what they do. Now, Bill White, he puts a different spin on things. I never know what's going to come out of that guy's mouth. But I have so enjoyed getting to know him as a, as a human being. I have known Steve. Steve is one of my first musical mentors in this town, someone who, is, who opened the doors. Like he, we wrote for the same publishing company, and I was almost intimidated to ask him if he would consider writing for me, with me because he's had six number one hits. And, you know, he's just been such a just a great guy to be around if you want to hear victoria's music you can go to itunes uh, her record is there victoria veneer look for it hits and grins also has a cd if you want to check out their facebook page you can you can get the cd there as well so if you want to bring home a little victoria music that's the way to do it that would be great and you'll have to get your own italian cook because matt is not letting her go <laughs> Can I do my MDP commercial right now? Oh, absolutely. Let her roll. <laughs> Since 1992, they have produced some of the best shows. Uh, if you've gone to any of the amusement parks or theaters in your area, no doubt you've seen the work of this lady and her husband and their fine crew. You do a lot of the vocal coaching. So you're responsible for how these people sound on I, the stage? I am. And yes. Well, you know. Pressure on you? It is, and that's why we have to spend so many days on the road and so much time and effort finding great talent. Because you can't cultivate a sound unless you have a great sound to begin with. So, yeah, I'd spend a lot of time with the ensemble sounds and uh, try to get them to sing as a band, if you will. I was really trying not to. That's okay. Are you in the middle of shooting? Yeah! We're in the middle of cooking supper! So I've interrupted? No, that's okay! We, we, we were hoping that you would come, we, we actually were hoping that you would join us at some point. Get your face out of the pot and come over here okay. and say hello to get the camera. Get your face out of the pot. This I'm going to get has, my face in the pot. This man has a birthday tomorrow and we're crashing his birthday celebration. Oh, no you're not. Mm-hmm. You're making my birthday awesome. Hi. Hi. We, we love this fellow. Uh, do y'all eat dinner? Well, this is a dumb, I don't even need to ask this we, question. I eat every day. <laughs> We knocked on your sweet mama's door. That's oh, his mama, oh my Mama goodness. Barbara. These veggies that we're cooking with today uh, from the garden, and she's a delight. Isn't she amazing? Great. Speaking of which, been... I'm gonna add some more fresh ingredients. See, she's blowing us off. She's got to keep on cooking. I've got to keep, keep on cooking. cooking. Sounds like a good time for me to exit. <laughs> <laughs> Have we put you exit stage left? <laughs> so back to the back to the basil. Oh, that's my favorite herb. Is this like bad if I go like that? No. Mm. What you got? I got a whole lot of love in my <laughs> mm. Ding, 
Dang, 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 that's fine. What I'd like to do at this point is just, just get a tasting spoon and... Um, do you need a taster for the tasting spoon? Now the next ingredient, which is, there's the controversial one coming up here. Mm. Now my husband, he's not a real big fan of this. The, the um, chili pepper? The crushed red pepper. Crushed red pepper, excuse me. Um, so he, what he, I'm- But he did leave the room, didn't he? Yeah. yeah since, since, <laughs> I'm not gonna go hardcore, but if I were doing it, all of that would go in. I but would, since I would like for him to enjoy it. And it is it, his birthday. It is his birthday, so. so we have to remember I'm just gonna, him. just for a little zing, and believe it or not, we are also going to add a little bit of raw organic sugar. You, it's not where you, you're gonna taste the sauce and go, oh gosh, I can taste That's the delicious. sugar in here, but it does chemically help just even the tomato out a little bit. Now, could you put this with another type of pasta and why did you choose Oh, absolutely. I, just, I like the way that it looks. It kind of, the penne pasta tends to hold the ingredients. See, of the see tunnel? how the pepper. The penne tunnel. It, it's holding the pepper there. That's great. And oh, it's just get inside there. Right, and just kind of like makes it all are we, are we almost ready? We're almost ready to eat, girl. Okay. I'm gonna add maybe just a little more pasta. Oh. <laughs> She's dying, y'all. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, should, should we serve this up? Girl! CK1, you ready to eat? Heck yeah. All right. Cameraman one. Joey, you ready to eat? He's ready to eat. <laughs> Stomach is growling. See, you should take this it off. Bowl. Hold this Hold this fork. so great. Freshly grated Asiago. And Parmesan. And Parmesan, okay. Okay, and right. then. This so there's like five loaves of this bread sitting on that counter over there. <laughs> and you're going home with one today. I'm you and the CK1. That's right. Gluten up to the max. <laughs> gluten it up, baby. Give me gluten. But it's so good. It's so good, that with the, especially with this. So Are we anyway. ready to taste? Yes. Manja. Manja. Ooh. Oh, that, and that heat, I can hit, the heat just hits just a little bit. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm. This is delicious. It's vegetarian, fresh vegetables from the garden. You are a gem. Thank Gosh, you so much. Pieces. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you for having me. This Thank was you. so much fun. This was great. And may you all enjoy your pasta. Bacon and con 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 What is the name? Pasta. Pasta. Con. Con. Verdura. Verdura. Frecce. Frecce. And that's a wrap. Ha, ha, ha.